Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin. Today I am bringing you guys the fastest and quickest way to level up in Cold War. So, as you might have guessed from the gameplay, the fastest way to level up currently in Cold War is Zombies. This is for both weapon XP and for player XP. This strategy is what zombie players are using to currently to get the highest rounds possible on this map and it's a fantastic strategy for leveling up both guns and your player XP. What you're going to want to do is just from the starting room you can do this by round 3 by just killing the zombies and getting enough points you open the doors up down the bottom, open the upstairs and go to the top of the knacked building. You're then going to sit in the back corner where you see us camping here, it's myself and Whaley in the gameplay and you don't open the back door, you make sure you keep that closed. You then sit in this corner and and this allows you to get lots and lots of kills very very quickly as there is only three spawn points one's to the left one is the jump up to the left side of the wall and one is the runway you can ring a fire on the top left corner where you'll see us do in just a moment in the gameplay and that kills all the zombies from the spawn to the left which means you've just got the jump up and the walkway to focus if you're doing this by yourself it's exactly the same strategy but there's just far less spawns so it makes it a lot quicker to get through these rounds to level up your gun the fastest what you want to be doing is sitting up here and pack a punch in the gun as soon as you can to that get to that tier three when you need to you can do this up until around round 30 to 35 depending on how good you are at zombies and how, how long you want to wait for the time to kill to be improved once you get past this point if you are still going for player xp what you want to be doing is using the ray gun and the die shockwave machine as these things will allow you to get the high round strategy if you haven't yet used ring of fire you're going to want to make sure that that is leveled up to tier three with the ethereum crystals as that is going to make this strategy a lot more smooth for you guys to get them at xp the quickest way possible and make sure this strategy is as efficient as it can be. Once you do have this level 3 you're going to just want to roll through the strategy like we are here. You can see you can use your gun up until around wave 30 quite easily and then from that point onwards you're going to want to use the ray gun and the DIE machine. If you have maxed out your level already this season and you do not need player levels what I recommend doing if you're going for camos and gun levels is to get to wave 30 to 35 and then exfil and do this all over again. It's the quickest possible way to get the gun levels in zombies and it also means that if you are trying to take some of these guns into multiplayer for the first time and don't want that first non-attachments grind to go on in multiplayer because it can be pretty tough with skill based matchmaking then this is a perfect way to get a few attachments going before you have to do that and that means you can go crush it straight away in multiplayer without any of the hassle of leveling up the gun for the first few levels another really cool thing is you can get zombies camos very very easily in this and as you've probably all seen dark ether by now it's a fantastic looking camo and this is going to be one of the fastest methods to to allow you to unlock this the most efficient way. One of the nicest things about the strategy is directly underneath where you are camping there is an ammo box, well there's actually three in the area which you can get to and you can also go through the teleporter to regain armour at the end of each round if you want to do that it could take you back to the main power room, the one downstairs in the knack building, you can then go and get armour which fills you back up to full and then simply teleport back and run back up the stairs. This is fantastic as it means it's a very seamless and quick strategy and you haven't got much chance to go down particularly once you get to the higher rounds up to the 90s and 100s onwards. A couple of little tips which really help with this strategy are getting, making sure you've got an attack chopper and a self revive. Both of these things are excellent and there is a refrigerator behind where the camp spot is that has all of the perks available. So if you do go down and self res you can simply buy all of your perks, run down to the main starting room again, buy the attack chopper back or buy the self revive back whichever one you've used and you should be good to go. Attack choppers are fantastic against the bosses as is using any weapon in ring of fire particularly early on. Getting those ring of fire kills with the, whichever gun you've decided to start with is excellent and then making sure that you then go ahead and swap out to the ray gun and the DIE machine further on. Another quick tip is to wait until after wave 28 to try and get the wonder weapons as they have a much higher chance of spawning beyond this point. You've got a much higher chance of getting golden weapons and also the wonder weapons spawning in from the box. So this also goes for if you're trying to level up multiple guns in one run and you want to get the gold variant of the weapon so it does the most damage possible then wait until wave 28 as you have the highest chance of getting, getting golden weapons from the mystery box. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you've learned something new. This is by far the fastest and most efficient way to level up a cold war at the moment both for player XP and for gun weapon XP so if you have learned something feel free to drop me a subscribe down below and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to like and share with any friends who you might think will find this video useful thank you very much for watching and peace